<laughs> we started this shop to escape tyranny. We wanted to walk in and feel inspired to work every day. You, we're doing cool projects, man. I mean, we're blessed to get to work on this, and uh, we can't lose sight of that. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna make that happen right now. Stand by. We've got the pilot seat right here, and uh, it's got an air ride suspension on it, and that's a big bulky mechanism. We wanna cover it up. It's not a good finished looking thing. We don't wanna see it. We wanna see walnut. Here we've got some airlines and wiring that we need to cover up. We'll make something that looks good. I don't know what it'll look like yet, but we'll find out together. Take a peek from a different view here. So we've already got this little side compartment built here. And basically what we're going to do with this side is we're going to kind of create a little bit of, like I said, visual continuity between the two of those. It's all kind of just scabbed together right now because you don't, you know, you can try to figure out the dimensions for all these cuts as you go, and you do to some degree, but sometimes you just go, okay, I think that's gonna be about six inches, throw a six inch piece in there, it ends up being three quarters of an inch short, just swap it out with the right piece. Uh, another thing we don't have, this radius material, this is like a pre-bent three inch radius uh, plywood, isn't always at a perfect 90. So if you get in here and look, you can see it's kind of kicking in that way. And we'll solve that by just adding some framing in behind here that holds that at a 90 degree angle but we're going to glue it up and uh throw some body filler in these uh what we call tub holes we're going to take this all out and we're going to take a half inch off of all of this so now we know the height we know we want to move this down a little bit i'll see you at the bench Ooh. we got to take a half inch off the height of this we're going to make this overall height here 13 inches I think we're going to add a little bit of structure around this corner in particular to keep it square. So we're going to take this thing apart and uh, we're going to put it back together again. It's pretty handy to uh, mock things up like this. You just don't use glue. Throw a couple screws in it wherever you need to. Always wear safety glasses when you're being filmed. Some things are pretty easy to draw and pretty easy to map out. Done. And figure out all the dimensions that you're gonna need before you start building. Give these a choppy choppy. Other things, a lot more difficult to figure out how to describe it in numbers. So when that's the case, it's always good to do a mock-up. So you can kind of just throw pieces on here and you know, you don't like the way you, it looks, get rid of this piece, put a shorter piece in, taller piece, whatever. Here's a common mistake. I just traced this piece. The pencil line that I drew on here, the inside edge of the pencil line represents the outside edge of the piece I traced. Typical cutting you save your line, so we'd run our bandsaw blade to the outside of this line. And if we do that, we are at minimum one pencil tip width too thick around the whole thing. So I'm gonna take this line, just, just barely, just gonna ride it. It's gonna ride it like, like a hurricane. Ugh, give me that. Here, why don't I flip sides and then maybe you can see me fumble with all this stuff. Let's fumble. There's all kinds of cool stuff out there that you can use to, to make these tubs. Uh, some pretty expensive pieces of equipment that I've gotten the, had the privilege of using in other shops. Some cheap crappy solutions, those Craig jigs. I've never used one, I don't know. What I do is a 3 8 spade bit and a one eighth long drill bit. It's a two step process. Come in about three quarters of an inch, drill in about an eighth. Just drill through the first piece of plywood. You'll feel it kind of pop into the next one. That's when you stop. Got a scrap piece of plywood right here. Put everything right where we want it to be. We're gonna trace the inside of this. Okay. We're gonna go ahead and cut that out now. To the bandsaw. I think we're in business. I don't want, I don't have room for all of this. 
So I'm gonna I'm just gonna eyeball about three quarters of an inch right there, and then I'm just gonna make a mark all the way around it. Cut that out. Back here again. Okay, we're gonna add a couple of uh, attachment points so that we can actually screw this thing down to the floor where it's gonna live. And then we can build around it, you know, with certainty that we are doing the right thing. Up complete. We've got a pretty good fit here with everything. What we're gonna do next is glue this thing up and body work it. Then we're gonna veneer it, finish it, install it, walk away, have a hamburger. Hey! What? What are you doing? I'm drilling holes in this here ceiling to run some wires for the lighting. 